Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome into Brian's Badass Reviews. It is a beautiful day down here in South Texas. Weather is great. So I thought it'd be a really good day to break out the Toro self-propelled lawnmower and do a year after review. Now, when I first did the review, we did the unboxing, we did the assembly, did a first time mow with it, and it's actually been one of my best viewed videos so far. There are really good comments in the comments section. And there's been a lot that say, hey, this lawnmower does not work for me. And there's been a bunch that say, hey, this has been the perfect lawnmower for me. Thanks for your video. So I thought it'd be a good idea to kind of just go a year after and maybe take a look and see if it's, uh, you know, stood the test of time per se. So, hey, let's get to some mowing. Let's get right into it. Kick the intro! done so far so good now time to do some weed whacking and then i'll show you guys the backyard one year later it's still doing pretty damn good i'll see you on the other side <laughs> One of the big questions is after a year, does this thing still start on the first pull? Let's find out right now. So there we have it. We got the front yard all mowed up and we got the backyard all mowed up. I'd say all in all, this thing is still working top notch. Now I don't have a huge yard. As you guys can see, this is pretty much, this is pretty much my whole backyard here. So but the mower still seems to be doing an excellent job. There are a couple of spots here where um, the grass was a little bit longer and the I might just need to sharpen the blade after a year or so a little bit. But I mean, as you guys can see, it uh, mowed nice. Uh, it started on the first pull. I have yet to uh, check the oil after a year. And I specifically remember it saying in the instructions that you shouldn't ever have to really check the oil on it. Now, as a guy that's owned mowers and stuff like that, past motorcycles, no, you know, cars, everything, you gotta check the oil from time to time, right? But uh, I haven't, so we can check it right now. See how it's holding up. Let's see how it looks. Now this might be a little bit tough to do with just uh, one hand here, but uh, we'll take it out there. Let me get my towel up here. Take it out, kind of clean off the dipstick there, and then we'll put it back in just like you do with the whole car there. We'll bring it back up. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it is just above that second dot. It looks like it's still in pretty good shape. Wipe just a little bit on my finger there. You can still see that it's not dark, it's not dirty. So it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Now the mower itself, you can tell that it's been used. You can see the uh, grass stains on the tires and stuff like that. It's a little bit dirty. I don't clean it up after every single time I use it, which I probably should. I do take the leaf blower and kind of blow it out, make sure it's clean because I do store it in the garage. So I think that kind of helps. But I would say just as far as general use goes, this thing, like I said before, this thing is it's worked like a champ i know i've gotten a lot of comments on there saying hey you maybe you should spend a little bit more money spend six to eight hundred dollars get yourself one of these nice honda models 
yeah, maybe, you know what, but my yard is not that big. Maybe we'll see, maybe, you know, a year from now or two years from now, if I do start having problems with this, maybe in retrospect, I should have went back and maybe spent a little bit more and got something that'll last a lifetime that I'm not having to upgrade. But uh, for right now, you know, I think, I can't even remember what I spent on this thing, maybe 250 bucks. I have to go back and watch the last video. But it's worked out really good for me and I've been super happy with it. I know I've gotten comments saying that people have bought the same exact mower, they've had problems with the oil leaking, uh, throwing belts, stuff like that. And, and I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm sorry, I guess maybe I just got lucky with this one. I happened to get one of the good ones. And just like with any other piece of technology, you know, there's gonna be times where these mass produced products just, you, you get you get kind of a lemon, right? It can happen with anything. So this guy's been good for me. I just gotta finish up, do some weed whacking, gotta fix that board right there. Uh, that'll be the next project probably in the next year or so is, is replacing this whole fence. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I know I've gotten a lot of good comments on the last video. This is a year later. The mower is still working for me. The one thing I will say is that during the summer, um, we did have a period of time uh, where I couldn't get to the lawn. We were busy, we had things going on and let it go a little bit too long and the, the freaking grass was tall, tall, tall. Now, I will tell you that this mower had a lot of problems getting through that grass. I did have to push it down, lift the front wheels up, mow the section, come back and then re-mow it again. I'm telling you, the grass was super high. It did have some tough times getting through there and I'd have to re get clogged up. I have to restart the mower every once in a while. The clumps of the cut grass would get caught in between the blade, stop the mower, I'd have to peel it out. So if you're looking for something that is just gonna thrash through some really, really tall grass um, that's been you know, left for a while, Maybe this one is not the mower for you, right? But if it's just your twice a month mower uh, that you're gonna keep carry your lawn and you're gonna kind of be on it, I think this mower should work out great for you guys too. I'm gonna get the weed whacker out. I'm gonna do some weed whacking, fix this board, and then uh, I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my day off. So I hope this video was uh, helpful. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, let me know down in the comments section what you guys think. I think that's all I got. You know what I like to say? You gotta be kind to each other. You gotta do what makes you happy. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.